Loss. Boy, are you in the dumps about the Knicks losing that game, CP? You know what, Max? It was uh, it was a tough night. The garden was electric. 2,000 fans strong. Sounded like a sold-out house. I was in the building with the rhyme animal Chuck mm. D calling the game like Marv Albert and Johnny Hoops. But we took one of the best teams in the league, one of the best teams in the West, to the brink in a dogfight in our building. And we took them to the brink. And in the end, their close is closed. CP3 was fantastic. Devin Booker was unstoppable all night. They got some timely threes out of Macau Bridges and Cam Johnson and the like. And, you know, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, our top two dogs, they didn't have it last night. But they still fought. Derrick Rose, as I've been telling you on this show a couple weeks back, he's been the X factor for this team. Derrick Rose put this offense on his back, and it was a vintage Rose performance. It was just not enough for no, the Phoenix the Suns. Rose. You're right about that. Let me, let me say this. Yeah. I'll, I'll surprise you. Something. First of all, shame on you for forking over money to James Dolan <laughs> to, and being in the dark. That, that's shame on you, CP. However. It's not for Dolan. It's for the team. Uh -huh. Nine yeah, in a row, gets, Max. Right, right, that's who gets the money, not Dolan. Yeah, I forgot. Right, the team gets that money. goes to the team. Um, <laughs> But let me say this. That was an honorable way to lose a, not, to, to lose a winning streak. I, I, I call it like yeah. I see it. I give it up. It, you, no one's going to win forever. You're going to lose right. some games sometimes. And in your 10th game, to, when you've won nine in a row, even if it's at home, to go out yeah. like that against one of the best teams in basketball, and it comes down yeah. to the wire. If not for Chris Paul, they don't win that game probably, right? right. That's yeah. going to happen. That's an honorable way for the Knicks to yeah. lose. I agree. But it did expose yeah. one thing. The Knicks come at you with a lot of nice pieces. You know, and ha had they taken Halliburton instead of – um, top and they'd be even better and they should have and I thought so at the time a lot of people did but anyway yeah. Derek Rose is good as you mentioned not in his prime but really good uh, quickly is good Barrett is good obviously yeah. Julius Randle has been at, playing at superstar level most of this year but they don't have the one guy and it's not Julius Randle's fault it's the position he plays it's the way he's built they don't have that one ball handler guy who can take over a game at superstar level on the team correct and the Suns have two of those guys and that's why they lost that game, let's be honest. Absolutely right. We're still missing that dog in the perimeter that can take us home when, when Julius can't or when Derrick Rose may get gassed at the end of the games or while R.J. Barrett is still on the ascent. But right. nevertheless, Max, this nine-game winning streak showed the league, the mm -hmm. players, and the NBA world at large what even a modicum of success can do and endear yourselves to the hearts of the Knicks fans. This is what Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving ran from. They ran from ran that smoke. From they it. ran from that pressure. They ran from the ran pressure. From pressure. They wanted they to ran go to from the pressure. They wanted to go to a team. The, the Brooklyn Please. Nets are now where the Please. Knicks are hoping to be. They established Please. a winning culture and a healthy culture, and they were Please. able to turn that into Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Please. Irving, and one day the Knicks will be so lucky to do that. Hey, let me tell you something. Enjoy this. Take all the smell the roses now because <laughs> – <laughs> when the Nets are still playing after a month since the Knicks have been sitting at home, no one be thinking about the Knicks. The whole world, oh. the eyes of the sports world will be squarely on the Brooklyn Nets. Listen, and you're going to have to yeah. wait till the next year to start talking about the Knicks again. Again, if your Nets do not win this championship as they've mm. stacked the deck over there in Brooklyn, it will be yes, the biggest good, embarrassment of sports. But until then, the Knicks have owned New York. They've owned the basketball world. Even LeBron James was on top of this winning streak. That's how big it was. When the Knicks are good, the NBA is good. <laughs> By the way, you sound just like me when I was younger than you. I used to be like, well, my, you know, Michael Jordan said he respects beating the Knicks more than anyone in the world. I took like, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best player in the world beats me, and he's happier about that than when he beats the other team. Oh, it's such a sad state of affairs. CP, the franchise, NBA analyst on the Goodyear Hotline here on the Max Kellerman Show, ESPN yeah. Radio. So uh, Magic Johnson was on, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, on Late Night last night. And said yep. um, that he would rather have the uh, taking the last shot, LeBron James taking the last shot than Kevin Durant. And CP, yeah. KD's a better shooter than LeBron. He's a pure scorer, and LeBron is not, from the outside especially. But anywhere, KD's one of the all-time great scorers in a way that LeBron is not. Yes. And yet, there's a meme or a gif or whatever you want to call it, whatever you young whippersnappers <laughs> call it, uh, of me saying, I give me Iguodala, right? I want Iguodala because yeah. I said if the Martians had the death beam pointed at the earth, fate of the earth on the line, open look at the basket, not get your own shot, I'll take Iguodala over Steph. I yeah, wouldn't yeah, anymore, Iguodala. by the way. There it is. I want Iguodala. I wouldn't anymore, by the way, because I saw Steph come through against Toronto in a close game without a lot of help, but that's the first time he'd done that in the, with the ultimate pressure. He had choked a lot 
Let's call it what it is. In yeah. Deep in the playoffs in the past. Here's the thing about KD, CP. We know what it is. You grew up in New York. You got a little beef, and then you got some boy, some dudes with you, and you feel like the odds and you're in your favor. Some guys stick their chest out. But when maybe the odds aren't in your favor or it's close, then people don't stick their chests out the same way. I have seen yeah. LeBron with his chest out against all odds throughout his career under pressure. I have not seen KD come through under those circumstances the same way. So that is the backdrop. Yeah. Open look. Who do you want taking the last shot? Fate of the universe on the line, LeBron or KD? Yeah. Well, as I just said, Kevin Durant has been running from the pressure, running from the smoke his whole career. That being said, I'm with Magic. I'm going with LeBron. Even though KD is the better shooter, I'm going with LeBron because he's more battle-tested. He has more success in pressure situations and more failures. And based on those failures, you can learn from those situations and become a better player in closing time, a much smarter player in closing time when you're adjusting to those defenses out of the right. timeout, knowing when to, you know, it may be a pass, it may be a shot, it may be a layup, whatever it is. I trust LeBron James to make the right decision more than I would Kevin Durant. Yeah, that's exactly. And by the way, I'm not talking about ball in his hands at the end of the game. Who's going to make the right basketball play? I think a lot of people might say LeBron then. I'm talking about shooting the rock shooting it i saw lebron again i'll point this out i was at game on my own dime sometimes i'll do this when i think it's important to be there i went to game seven of the western <laughs> conference finals in 16 at oracle mm -hmm. and i went to game seven nice. of the finals right when you get out of your mother's basement because you're heading places in your career <laughs> you will also be able to afford <laughs> i got my own place maybe i got like my own okay, this is my good. own territory right here. all right all right this is my own territory <laughs> cp <laughs> lunch is ready shut up mama, mama. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so I went there and saw KD on a loaded squad. Like, that Thunder squad looked like it could go all, like it would upset the apple cart, maybe beat the Warriors yeah. and the Cavs that year. Steven Adams and, and Ibaka, they had size, they had talent. Westbrook, Durant, they went away. KD and Westbrook went away fourth quarter. Uh, LeBron, in the very next series, Game 7, same situation, he made the Warriors go away. I agree with yeah. you. I take LeBron. Absolutely. I'm, I'm taking LeBron in the bigger spot. As I said, battle tested, more of a leader. You know, as you mentioned, Katie, in, the, in those 2016 playoffs, they, they had the Warriors on the brink. That was a good team. I wish they would have stayed together. But, you know, also give credit to the Warriors as well. Klay Thompson had an outstanding series. Steph was Steph. But LeBron James at that time was the king of the league, took over when it needed to on defense and offensively. And like I said, with the last shot, I'm going with LeBron James because he's going to make a better decision. I love the fact that CP is a background, just keeps his same bedroom with the stuff up from high school still. <laughs> <laughs> I still got the dunk, the original yeah, dunk poster. He's got the Max. bomb the squad with Mark Jackson and, That's right. That's <laughs> and General right. That's Wilkins right. in the background somewhere. <laughs> I know that poster is somewhere, CP. Yeah. So yeah. looking, yeah, that's right. Looking at the Western Conference, we were talking to um, Kendrick Perkins today on First Take, and I was talking to him on the radio on this show uh, yesterday, Max mm -hmm. Kellerman Show, ESPN Radio, CP, the franchise NBA analyst uh, here on the line. Um, and, and Perk was telling me he's taking the Clippers, even if the Lakers are fully loaded, because, and I understand this, Rondo, his presence, it really helps organize the offense, you know, because Kawhi's not a natural point forward. He can do it. He's learned how to do it. But Rondo is really a third star when it matters most in the playoffs. And yeah. the Clippers are deep, and if they're healthy, they're good. But I still think, CP, if LeBron and AD – are healthy, that's the team to beat in the West. How would you rank the super teams in the West right now? Let's leave Denver out because they don't have Jamal yeah. Murray. One through four, who are the best teams in the West? Yeah. I'm going to put Utah at one just because they've earned that, those accolades. Okay, wrong. Go ahead, I'm going to put the. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. I'm going, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. going with that's Utah at one. I'm going with Utah at one. Until until LeBron okay. comes back and I see the chemistry okay. of the Lakers, I'm going with Utah at right. one. I'm going with the Lakers again, at two. Yeah. I'm going with the Suns at three. Right. And I'll go with the Clippers at four right now. Clippers at four. Now, why do you have the Clippers yeah. at four? I'm surprised by that. Listen, I just think the Suns, I watched the Suns in person last night. I just think they are fully loaded with Chris oh, Paul and Devin Booker. I get it. I now. like Mikael Bridges. They beat the Knicks. Mikael. Oh, my God. The no. Suns just beat oh, the yeah. Knicks. They yeah. can beat anybody. <laughs> yeah, make no mistake. Make no mistake, the Suns back, Max. The if you can. win Bulls. Suns, I'll Listen. take the Suns in four. Yes. If you can get past that vaunted Knicks defense, you are on yes. the way, sir. You yeah. have to pass the test. No, no but honestly, the, this, that yeah. Suns team with Chris Paul, 
Devin Booker, you have two superstars. You have three-point shooting abound between Macau Bridges, Cam Johnson, uh, uh, DeAndre Ayton playing big, you know, crashing the boards. You still have Kaminsky and those guys off the bench. Cameron Payne having a mm. resurgent career. The Phoenix Suns are fully loaded. They are top 10 offense and a top 10 defense. I'm going to put them over the Clippers. I'm with Kendrick Perkins on the Rondo acquisition. That was key mm. for the Clippers. One of the differences I see between this Clipper team and the Nets team, Clipper team from last year did not have a point guard in the playoffs when it truly mattered and they put too much onus on Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to generate offense for the team and they fell short the Rondo addition should help get them over the hump but I still got to put the Lakers above them and I'm still going to put Phoenix above them for right now well even if I disagree it's a student analysis I think interesting analysis by the way what's for lunch a PB and J with a crust cut off or how, how what's your max I, for lunch? max I just threw down some grilled chicken on the skillet I had oh, some okay. sweet potato fries a nice salad right. getting ready to destroy okay. you once again on CP versus Kellum. potato fries. My... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Lunchtime, man. Lunchtime. Oh, yeah. You got to switch it up. I, yeah, well, no, I, I can't do the white potatoes either. I, You know, by the yeah, time you sweet get to potatoes age, all the way, one, man. You have one French fry and that's it. You get fat. You got to do sweet potatoes. You're done. And brown you, rice. You, you dad do bod, you're in the dad bod Olympics right after that. Oh, man. 100%. 100 <laughs> dad bod Olympics. I got a gold medal. What are you talking about? <laughs> CP, the franchise, ladies and gentlemen. He joined me on. Real quick, can I give my top five? Yeah, yeah, go. Dr. J, I'm going with my top five of my era from who I've seen, okay. modern era. I'm going with Steph at the one. Mm -hmm. That's I'm going MJ at the two. That's true. Yeah. I'm going LeBron at the three. All right. Katie at the four. All right. Tim Duncan at the five. Yeah. That is an unstoppable lineup, Dr. The, the J. The answer, if you need to know, is yeah. LeBron at the one, Jordan at the two. You could. You KD could. Katie at the three, Bird at the four. And I'm taking Hakeem at the five. You see what I'm saying? How do you, how do you leave the best shooter in NBA history off that list? Oh, I want, but I got plenty of shooting. Do you hear what I just said? Oh, yeah, KD, yeah, Bird, yeah, I, got, I yeah, got plenty of shooting. Yeah. All right. Listen, CP, you get, until you get, next you time. We can do this all day, but until next time. CP, the franchise, ladies and gentlemen, he appears weekly on the Max Kellerman Show. Thanks, CP. Um, Thanks a lot. Join me on the Goodyear Hotline. Help.